this video tutorial, we will learn about the development mode and the visualization mode. You can switch between these two modes by using these icons up here. For the development mode, you can click on this icon. For the visualization mode, you can click on that icon. In the development mode, you can edit the data flow network and you have access to the list of processors. In the visualization mode, you cannot edit the data flow network and you cannot see the list of processors. But you can still edit the properties of each processor. This mode is intended for end users who want to try out the data flow networks you have configured. Let's get back to the development mode to see how to configure the visualization mode. You can adapt the visibility of all properties from each processor by changing the eye symbols. For example, to not exclude this property, you can just click on the eye symbol and you can again include it. For convenience, you can exclude all properties of the processor and then you can just go back and select some. So now I want to exclude all properties but the two I've just selected in the single volume raycaster here and this one and then I switch to the visualization mode and as you can see here the properties which are changeable are just those where I can change here the data set and here I can change the shading mode or I can change the gradient computation. So by using the visibility in the development mode, you can tune what to see in the visualization mode and just get a cleaner interface which allows just to change the properties you see here. This finishes our video tutorial.